Let's finish off this introduction to JavaScript and overview of HTML by making sure to understand the DOM, or Document Object Model in client-side JavaScript. The DOM gives us full power to dynamically create HTML. JS then enables us to change all HTML elements in a page, add attributes to the tags, and remove and add HTML elements. We interact with the DOM through specific methods to access the JS representations of our HTML elements called DOM properties. It's best to illustrate how the DOM works with a coding example. We'll continue off the code that we used from the previous video. So make sure you're in index.html and let's change this hello world div. Let's take it out and then add a new div. And this one will have an ID attribute now. And we'll say example. And this just gives it a little ID, which is a string of example. Cool. Now head back to index.js. And since we set up our HTML, we can start interacting with the JavaScript DOM. Let's go ahead and see what the DOM even looks like. Remove that top console log. And we'll add a console.log of document. And boom, we see document show up in our console now. As you can see in our console, we get a representation of our HTML with our head, title, and body tags. Now, JavaScript converts the HTML into a large object that we can then interact with. To prove this, let's add a type of statement next to the document, and we'll see that this document keyword is actually an object. So we'll reform this, we'll say the type of document, and boom, we see object. Great. Now, this object comes with a trove of methods that allows us to access the HTML content that it represents. The most frequently used one is getElementById. So we'll use that function to find that div with the ID of example that we created in our index.html. And then we'll explicitly change its inner HTML to a JavaScript string that we specify. So we'll code it just like so. We'll say document.getElementById First, we specify the example, and now we can change its inner HTML to whatever we want, and we'll say JavaScript rules. Boom, let's save. And there we go. We have it showing up on our browser now, JavaScript rules right on the top corner. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. But boom, we grab the element by ID of example and change its inner HTML. All right. Now that we've seen how the document object model works in letting our JavaScript update the page, we can move on. Next, we'll continue to a new section on gaining a more working understanding of how to actually program in JavaScript using its syntax, functions, operators, and plenty more awesome features.